I wanted to show you guys a quick demo of a service I really, really enjoy. It's called Dapper.net. Dapper.net gives you the ability and flexibility to take content that otherwise could not be packaged into RSS, HTML, etc., and gives you the ability to be able to do that. So, for all intents and purposes, I thought I'd step you through a demo um, of a site that I found. It's a Russian site. It posts some funny images sometimes, um, but it also posts a bunch of other stuff that I can't understand because I don't read Russian. Um, so this will give me the ability to take out the pictures and nothing else. The site is called dirty.ru. So as you can see, I have multiple options here. I'm going to go ahead and try to just turn this into, uh, we'll leave it at XML for now. And this process is very, very simple. So the first step is you want to add your site to the basket. And you hit next. Now I want to select all the images on the page. And through CSS and other factors, the system is able to identify which ones those are. Sometimes you have to tweak it. You have to select certain fields and deselect them to get the system to understand what you're trying to find. But as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. I found the images. Now I need to save this as a field. We'll call it images. And then we'll move on to the next step. And as you can see, now I've got uh, a feed here of sorts with all the images on the home page. So as new images come in, they will be posted automatically to this feed. You can make it private or leave it open. So one of the great things about dapper.net is that you can see what other people have created. They have a great little uh, directory of, of dapps that people have created. Um, but in, for this purpose, I'll just make it private just so I can use it. Let's say you had a website and you just wanted to post this site's images on your website. You could either do, you know, use the multi, uh, you know, if you can really code well, want to parse through things, you can use JSON, XML, things like that. But let's say you're not a coder, you just want the HTML code. You can click on it and get uh, embeddable HTML. Um, I think it shows up as an iframe, but here's the example. There's not a lot of manipulation that you can do to this feed um, once it's here, uh, but it, it does give you each image line by line, so you have the ability to then post that wherever you want.